Hello guys, today I want to talk about seeding the data in the middle of the project when the project is already live. And this is not a typical video, this is an explanation video to a YouTube post that I've posted yesterday and it got a few comments which led me to this explanation video. So imagine a situation in the middle of the project when the project is already live, you need to seed some data. In this example on the screen, you can see the case where Spati permission package is installed and we need some permissions to seed, some roles to seed. So where you do that? Technically, you could create a seeder. So PHP Artisan make seeder, Spati permission seeder and do that in the seeder file. But how do you launch that? So you would run PHP Artisan migrate for the package and then would manually run PHP artisan db seed minus minus class equals some class. It is fine while you're working alone and locally and only on one server. For example, you could run that locally and on live server, right? But what if you have a team? So would you run that command for everyone, every teammate on their server, on their computer? What if you have staging server, testing server, so would you run that seed on every computer? And what if your deployment script is automated so you don't even have SSH access directly to the server and you cannot run that command? For example, we're using Laravel Forge for some of our projects and here's a deploy script which is default suggested by Forge. So every time I click deploy now, or it's sometimes automatically happening, this is the sequence of commands. So git pull composer install and php artisan migrate dash dash force means that it won't ask for permission for confirmation so this is all happening on the click of a button so no one is actually connecting to the server manually and no one is launching any seeds and it would be problematically to do that so in case of automation that manual seed wouldn't work so that's why i'm suggesting if you need some data to seed inside of migration you can do that inside of migration it may be in the same migration file where the tables are created or in a separate migration file the point is that migration file is not only about schema table and schema create and all the schema you can do whatever in migration file and it will be launched so in this case in this example again we are using spati permission classes to create permissions and then, in case of automated deployment, everyone is running PHP Artisan Migrate, right, on their machines. Every teammate would run that and every server would run that. And seeding would happen with migration script. Another example locally, for example, what if you are adding languages to your project? And it starts with model language and you need to seed some languages like English, Spanish, German or whatever. How do you do that? So after generating the model, you make the name fillable and inside of your migration file, you could do directly here, language, create, name, English, then duplicate the row, name, Spanish, German, and that's it. You would run PHP Artisan Migrate, it would create the table and fill it in immediately. This is my suggested way how to seed the data in the middle of the project when it's already live. What do you think about that? Are you doing the same way or maybe you have a better idea? Let's discuss in the comments. And as usual, I advise you to subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting daily videos now about Laravel and about business. That's why the channel is called Laravel Business. See you guys in other videos.